here's our lineup. We've got the Fiskars Pro 8 pound mall. Oh, look at that thing. There's no way that thing's not busting wood, right? I'll show you what, what that's for. The Fiskars X25. I mean, that profile is meant to split. Then we have a, a chopper one. Chopper one. I mean, you guys know what this is, right? Focus. It's got the little ears that fling out. Chopper one. Lots of videos on that. That guy went back in business because his product got pro popular again. And then uh, my favorite, my favorite axe of all, straight handle, I think it's a 32 or 36, eh, 36, 36 inch straight handle, Falls City Kelly Works jersey pattern. We'll give you a closer look at that. All right, so it's a jersey, Falls City Kelly Works, beat up. I bought this thing for 50 cents, hung it on this handle. Uh, it's a crappy hang did it years ago it's one of my first very first axes but you can see what's what's nice about a jersey is there's a nice thin bit for chopping and digging into the wood but then it quickly spreads out into a big wedge at the at the pole right big fat pole good for pounding wedges all that stuff and then it has what they call phantom bevels which help release the wood it also aids in splitting. So this really is, if you think about it, it really is a very good all-around axe. Um, and I love them on straight sticks. When this, when this breaks, if it ever does, it's getting a straight stick again, that's for sure. For Showa. So, you get a good shot. Couple, couple comparisons, really. I mean, just to show you. Oh, that was good. So this is, is that maple, right? So we're struggling here. We're struggling with this. But right through so with a straighter gram. Standard fare, right? So we know the axe works. Right? Just bust right through ash. Not a problem. Duck, she bites deep. She bites real deep. Loves it. 
speed up, please. Okay. Love it. Doesn't like the maple. Oh, got a piece. All right. You get the idea. So, chopper one, right? Chopper one works great. Stuck right in. Doesn't like the maple. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> Give me my axe back. Right? I'm not going to mess around with that. All right. In walks. In walks the Fiskers. All right. <clears throat> so you see how gnarly that wood is. It's just, it's not, it's, it's tough. It's hard, right? It's hard wood. But them Fiskers, eight pound mall. Just blows right in it. Now, can you do this with a wooden eight pound mall? Absolutely. 100%. No doubt about it. What's the difference then? The difference is my hands don't hurt, right? This handle absorbs that, that freaking impact. So it's less, it's less damaging to your body, really. No, I'm not, I'm not giving it to her. Now, eight pound ball, that's a lot to swing. And I can swing that all day. So, the idea is, break it down. In comes this. Got my piece broke down. Hit it like a man, not like a boy, like I just did. Bust it up. Again, I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. Oh, there's kind of cold. We got the monster wood broke up. Here's the other thing. Like, I don't care, right? What's, what am I gonna damage? Nothing. Just replace the axe no. no not for me I love my axe does this have a place on my homestead yep sure does Let's 
see what we got. Might, might be a good candidate to break down. just doesn't care. Just doesn't care. It's so funny to split that stuff. The gnarly stuff. Too gnarly. That's too gnarly. Look, this is base of the tree, base of a maple tree. Twisted, hard, hard wood. Gnarly. Oh. So I don't even know if I can break this down. Wood. There we go. Doing it. Look at. Come on. Eight pound mole. I'm 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 hurting this wood, right? Breaking it down. Ooh, almost got you.
crazy one. Let's say, let's say you had a log splitter. Suck and win. <laughs> Gotta breathe. Let's say you had a log splitter. You can't pick that up really. So if you have a tilting log splitter, you'll be okay. But you gotta pick that thing up. Grab this sucker, break it down. Take a break, go back and split your wood. And then take it a break, it's my workout. See, I, I don't know where else to get in on this thing because it makes like three different turns here. Might be it. That might be it on this one. Oh, one more. Get the idea. Real quick, a couple things before I forget. There's a couple things I'm looking for. Um, if anybody knows of any good books on forest management, I'm interested. I'd like to, I'd like to learn a little bit more about what I'm doing here before I, I do too much. And my goal is, for as long as possible, I'm just gonna cut down either dead standing or clean up what's on the ground already. 
that's my plan to go as long as possible doing that. But at some point, I'm going to get to where I need to start thinning some of these trees out for a healthier forest. Um, so if anybody knows any good books um, that would cover that, and maybe also cover what to do about this poison ivy growing all over these trees. Like, it's everywhere. It's on almost every tree. Um, I don't want to go spray a bunch of chemicals. Now, the goats will take care of the little stuff. No problem. And I know I can go chop the vines in the wintertime, and they will die. But what I don't know is the vines that are up high, will they fall down eventually after they dry out, or are they just going to be on the tree forever? That's what I don't know. The other thing I'm looking for is some ideas on wood storage uh, sheds. <clears throat> now, I, I want to build a large shed right here in this background to, to store a majority of my wood, but it's not going to hold, you know, I don't know, it's not going to hold all the wood I'm going to need for a season or for a couple seasons because you want to ha at least have firewood for the next two or three years st stockpiled, right? So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking about sheds little little sheds with just a metal roof uh, open to all sides that would would hold I don't know a quart of wood let's say a quart or two quarts I don't know I measure it out see what it comes up to but um, the idea is too maybe the sheds would be uh, movable if I if ever decide I want to move them to a different area I can move them so if you, if you guys have got any good ideas or seen any good videos on that uh, share them with me I'd be interested in seeing in there.
little crowded in here. It's nice to have an axe that you just, you don't care, you know? There's. What, how could I damage this? I, mean, I guess you could run over the handle or something, but, you know, normal, normal use, normal abuse. What are you gonna do? It's fun to swing. They make this in a 36 inch version. Wondering what that would be like. Probably the same thing, just longer reach, right? <laughs> Gather up some more of the stuff I already got cut up. Get it over here. Start getting a, getting a wood rack together. this one a little bit of love. Beautiful day. Snow coming down. It's 
cool. I'm hot. Sweat. Oh, you big old chunk of wood, you. It's punky. It is punky. Get in there. That's a nice chunk of wood. Woo! Caught me off balance! Boy, she's hard in the middle there. Hard. I really should take a few minutes to clean all this up. get it. It's hard. Hard. Well, you guys get the idea, right? Alright guys, that's it for today. That's more fun than I can handle. So, getting a respectable wood pile going. I mean, it's obviously probably not enough. I'm sure it's not enough, but you know, baby steps. Get what I can, when I can. Um, Fiskers, they're, they're nice axes. I mean, whatever. Use what you want. I will always use the wooden tools, but for some stuff, I'm we'll grabbing the Fiskers. And it's fun to swing that little guy. That's a fun little axe to swing. It's not about what's better. It's about what works for you. Anyways, again, I want to thank everyone for sitting down and watching my videos. Um, I appreciate it. I love, love sharing this stuff. Um, I'm an outgoing, per outgoing person, so I, I don't know. I seek uh, human activity, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I do well isolated as much as I think I would I don't think I do it well isolated I need the people interaction sharing experiences with people loved ones family that stuff memories aren't anything unless they're shared anyways life's a book full of chapters right I don't know what chapter I'm on but it's an important one. Let's write it together. Follow along. Let's see where this thing goes. See what we can accomplish. Hey now, look at that man. There goes Killer with a Fiskers in his hand.